a disaster movie that's not over dramatic and stupid? <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review of Deepwater Horizon. Now, admittedly, I was kind of on the fence about this, mainly because Peter Berg was doing this. I do admit that the last time Peter Berg did a movie it was one of my favorites of the year, which was Lone Survivor. This movie was very well done. Yes, it was very patriotic. I'm Canadian, but I still like, respected what the film was. There was one moment that was really overdramatic and completely false from what actually happened. However, I still very much enjoyed that movie, and I think that Berg found his niche with talking about true act stories. So, when he said he was going to do one about Deepwater Horizon, I was kind of on the fence. I wondered if they were talking about the global effect or what exactly would they talk about. In a sense, they do not talk about the end, but the main focus of this movie is what happened to the oil drillers on the platform at the event. What happened to them was scary. Now, the only thing I have from an actual sort of point of view of knowledge from oil, no, scratch that, not knowledge, point of reference, and another time that a film has ever talked about an oil platform, it's going to say there was blood, but that was about the old times of the Armageddon scene, the oil drill at the beginning. I can't believe I'm referencing that. I bet you, after Michael Bay saw this movie, he's like, Whoa, could have had way more explosions on my oil platform scene than I'm again. Either way, this film does a lot of good with talking about what the aspects are. Do you understand half the gibberish that they're saying? No, but at least they're trying to get into that moment. They're actually trying to be realistic to what happened. Now, it says inspired by, which obviously means that certain aspects didn't happen as they did in the film. But the one thing that I did like about it is, though, is the fact that while Mark Wahlberg is the main, he's the top bill, he's not the main character. Sure, he's one person that you follow, but a lot of time is spent on the other group. Mind you, do you remember really any of their names besides Kurt Russell and the girl from Jane is the Jane the Virgin? Not really, but you still get an aspect to see what each guy did, what each person went through, and how they survived. Not all of them, obviously. This film does pay homage respects to the 11 who died in the very end of the film. As for as a disaster film, though, now we have a lot of experience with certain disaster films like The Towering Inferno, Independence Day, all these sort of ideas of a certain event and a disaster that happens to them. Now, the one that I always think, a lot of people always give World Trade Center a grip, like right, for not being that great, but you don't want to talk about different aspects of it, and that's what I liked about Deepwater Horizon. Was it as in-depth as, say, Sully was? No, because Sully wasn't very much a character piece. This is about a centerpiece of what happened. And the film was very enjoyable. It's very interesting. What happens is you'll drop your jaw several times of what these guys went through. And overall, the film was very entertaining. I liked the characters. I kind of liked how John Malkovich wasn't a douche. He was not the smartest of BP representatives, but I still like that he was kind of a person who was willing to understand things, even if he didn't really take it to advice. Basically, he wasn't a stereotype, and I like that aspect. So in the end, I'm going to give Deepwater Horizon a 5 out of 7. It's a decent film. I thought it was a good flick. Uh, it's a one-time watch, really, but you'll still very much enjoy it. You won't be disappointed with certain aspects of it, and I think that the overall presentation was very respectable, and I think Peter Berg did good. And now he's going to be doing another one, talking about Patriot's Day, which is about the Boston bombing, so hopefully that one's good as well. It's got Mark Wahlberg in it. Again. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.